Episode 20 of Account Review is back and I hope you guys are excited. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. So I do these account reviews for you guys uh, from time to time and all you have to do really is just comment down below your profile name and your team name and what you guys view or focus on the most. But if you guys just want me to do like a normal account review where I basically review everything, then you can also comment that. The first player that we have here uh, on the list is Ditsis, uh, which went ahead and commented, my island is a mess and I'm a collection hoarder with little space. Okay, any other tips and advice would be great. Free to play with over 5,500 gems if that matters. Wow, that's insane. Insane. okay so first of all let's go ahead and um take a look at your pvp team all right your pvp team you have uh you're using canon 11 i'm assuming this is a super fast canon 11 unfortunately not it doesn't seem to be so is it okay i think i see the um uh, play here i see the player so you made rara super fast to basically first take the first turn and kind of open the path or deny the enemy and that's going to be enough time for canon 11 to get the turn in as you guys will see 14k speed to 13k so can i take send the turn right after later on not right after uh Raris because as you guys can see the speed difference is pretty high and i takes a turn in uh, either does double damage or heals or whatever any yards whatever it is um or even opens up the path even more i don't think here's the thing this monster doesn't really need uh the path to be open for him you know what i mean um so that's why it's mostly for damage boost and then obviously chair keep and taking the turn in and attack now that's okay but i would highly suggest suggest you make um cannon 11 taken first turn so you know you can pr and trade disable because if this monster goes up against a megaton which 90 90% of the time it will unfortunately you can't really do much and then you're gonna have to wait until these two monsters get a turn in and then attack and by that time they'll probably get the turn in before that and just destroy your team other thing is this team can be easily uh stopped by an extra turner so literally any extra turner dark voltaic uh uv voltaic whatever it is they can easily eliminate your attack team so to improve it i would say either put in a mega taunt in there or if not you could just do uh can 11 first turn and then this monster denies right after uh that way you don't have to worry about mega taunt and you can actually win even more uh for attack but anyways you okay so it's actually champion three yeah you're gonna see a lot of uh, mega taunts up there especially legendary league so when you're gonna get to legendary league be careful of that for your defense team defense team is actually not bad i would probably do a damage booster instead of this monster it's nice having him there but damage booster would be better with with that um you can't just rely on raw damage even though i know it's serpentex but still it just makes it a lot better if you do have a monster that would you know damage boost just just damage boost that's all <laughs> but anyways so here for sky cold i would do one life in two team speed actually or if anything just triple team speed is fine too Let's see what we have here your best monsters uh here are the monsters you should actually focus on if i were you i would focus on let me see what do we have here sorceress would be one of your monsters you should actually focus on this is another one sky cold obviously i'm sure you already are investing in it because it's already at 130 um and then besides that dawn turtle is not bad he's pretty decent that's pretty much it now we come down to your monster gram this actually gives me a better idea something to actually look at um i would say melanot's not bad actually no don't invest Melana. Nope, not not at all. This is Ball's not bad. He's she's pretty decent. Congress is also pretty good. Darman Santa would be a good option if you don't have the original Darman, but if you do have the original Darman, obviously go with that. And then the Grateful Ted's also a pretty good monster. You have Voltic Redeem. I would highly recommend getting this to at least rank three. And if you could get it to rank three, have that evasion status caster. You can start using it for your defense or even offense. Both works. Lord Hammond's also another excellent choice. I would highly recommend investing in that one. You do have the original Darman, so I would say invest in this one. This one's really good. Rank it up and start using it because you can actually use this instead of that um fire monster that you have in your defense um uh, you know the forget his name but the, the one with the block resurrection trait that you have with serpentic rifle is also a excellent option there you should invest in that one duke is not bad either duke's also pretty good pretty still useful still you do have king adam why don't you use king adam king adam's a really good monster um besides that again serpentics you're almost done maxing that out shadow is also very nice invest in that there's forge laps and talica that you can still rank up and use but oh you do have have Ural as well. Wait, were you using it? I don't think you were using Ural. Why don't you use Ural with Serpentix? That's even a better option. So instead of that uh fire monster that you have for your defense, you know what I mean? Who is that? It's uh Monk Flamework. That's the name. Instead of using Monk Flamework, you can actually use Ural alongside Serpentix. That would be a pretty good uh pair up, you know what I mean? Uh instead of you know giving a damage booster. If you have a damage booster, obviously use that. But anyways, with your yeah, I, I can see it's a bit messy with your um island. What I would do again, my tip that I could give you guys 
for everybody watching um is that make your main island full of mythic habitats you have so much uh you know space in here to play with so get rid of this decoration here get rid of this little uh, rubble or whatever and basically just start all over here so basically it would be either you splitting it into two or three or maybe four elements max so let's say you can do earth monsters but it would be obviously earth mythics right here on this side and then you could do like water you could do fire right here and then you can have something else right here but if you if you want to just focus on two since you have so many um you have 573 so i'm not sure how many of those are actually mythics but if you have like a lot of a lot of mythics let me actually take a look at that for you we have earth right here this is great you can keep it the way it is or you can actually move it right here you know what i mean either one if you want to keep it here that's completely fine but what you can do is instead of doing earth here you can do another element water um let me see if water is actually good so your nature is also good so keep your nature here keep your dark dark looks good light is here earth is here i want to see what else here magic is also good fire you can definitely extend your fire and move it right here i would say because that's not enough it's not enough space instead you can actually put your food farms here instead either on this island or this island you can make it full of your food farms those two islands are just made for food farms for you to keep your food farms there um and then obviously as you can see the, these are like a bit um just like messy like you like you mentioned in your comment so they're like all over the uh places you guys can see also one a tip i could actually give you guys is you do not want these in your island these are only for decorations back then the monster market used to give you resources um but not anymore this you used to be i believe it was this one or this one i believe it was this one you used to be able to like invite like friends to play the game to install the game and then you would like get rewarded with uh with monsters sorry you would actually get rewarded with monsters and that was good back then but now not so much so what i would do put all these three in storage because it's just waste of space okay but overall you're doing pretty good with other things like at least this isn't like all over the place you know what i mean you have your magic monsters together you have this so most of your elements are good it's just the ones that do need to be in one area obviously split this into two or three obviously or maybe four at the max like i told you so so far earth is looking fantastic although it's actually a mix of water and other things as well and now that i actually notice it so it's not it's it's mainly earth but it's also mixed with random elements now that i notice it so you can definitely improve that i'm glad I, that actually caught my attention as you see there's fire uh magic uh thunder water so it's all over the place so i would definitely take care of that uh let me see if this is good you have earth and light yeah there's light so this is all except tom's because mine sort of and fundy uh, wait maybe i think fundy's ele a light element too it's like light and fire or just just fire I'm not sure but anyways for the most part everything's good just those things that i mentioned uh that i pointed out to you so you can definitely go ahead and fix those improve on those and then re-enter in a future episode and i want to take a look at your um account again it says next player we have is muhammad talat from the monstrous den i hope i pronounced that correctly i don't think i did but anyways uh, he went ahead and left a comment saying hello mg i love watching your videos every day i would like to get a review from my account i need some advices for my pvp defense okay and description i'm a free-to-play player i started playing the game since 2016 then i quit and came in 2022 since the blossom era i hope i get reviewed let's see what you got here so for your defense team this is not bad but it can be better okay um it's it's actually it's actually mediocre i would say um the reason for that is because it can be good but it can also be bad because of this monster um actually no mm -mm, never mind it is actually a rank one lamuna if this was a rank five then yeah um but unfortunately since it's just a rank one uh it's not a rank five because of that area random positive satisfaction it won't be as useful so you're gonna have to swap out lamuna until she's actually missed out so give her for lamuna right now these two monsters are not bad but what i would do if i were you keep these two monsters and if you have k911 if you do have access to k911 i'd highly recommend putting that in here instead of lumina that way k9 can open up the path for you pr trade table this monster takes in the turn and crazy let me say everybody your runes also need you need you need some um, improvement with your runes so i would do two strength one speed or you could do one speed and two strength i'm sorry did i just say it? just i kind of like just said the same thing but mix it okay two speed one strength or two strength and one speed is what i was trying to say um for that monster uh and then you do have k king adam king adam runes are perfect keep it the way it is but yeah swap this with a trade disabler a uh, monster that could appear on trade table um if you don't have something like that then you will have to find one because uh unfortunately voltic if he goes up against megaton or um not just megaton but also evasion or anything like that and spatian he's gonna have a difficult time uh, for your attack team on the other hand this is actually bad this is actually a decent pair up your runes you do need help with that so i would do one life and team speed keep the level nine and swap these two with team speed and then 
This does, he does apply triple damage, which is good. Yeah, I like that. But the thing is, let me see the speed. 10k speed, see, 9k. Okay, so keep it the way it is. Um, Yeah, because this monster is a, uh, the other one's an ancestral, this one is an abyssal. That's why. But anyway, so your attack team is m pretty good, so uh, like for the most part, but it's just this monster that's super tanky. You don't want that. Um, Let me see. I'm trying to see what else we, you have here. So invest in these two monsters. Oh, you have this attacker. He's amazing. Yeah, get him uh, ranked up and start using him. He's good. I'm trying to see. This monster is also good. Obviously, invest on that. Uh. Darmy Santos is pretty good. I continue investing in Ion V2. Very good supporter. And then there's also Congress that you have. He's not bad either at rank 3. For a second, I thought my game froze, but it's just your monsters. You um kind of, yeah, your monsters are just not moving. That's fine. But anyways, so taking a look at your island, you actually have a lot more space to play around. Do you see the back right here? You can actually move a little bit more. They're just super tight together. Um, I'm not sure if you have any gold boosts placed anywhere around. I don't see any gold boosts. They're probably being used by your mythic monsters, which is good. Yeah, you can keep it that way it is. But but again, main island is just better if you actually keep it uh, mythic monsters. If, if you have mythic monsters, obviously, which you do, keep them in here. Um, kind of what I said about the previous player. You know what I mean? Um, you actually cleared these. Oh my gosh, what is this? What am I looking at, dude? This is actually my first time seeing this. This is this is kind of clean, but at the same time, you're just wasting space. All right, so here's the thing. This is actually good, but at the same time, it's not good. All right, because you're you're actually missing out on a lot of gold. But what's good about this is that you can actually uh, utilize this space. So for example you can start placing or not placing but like moving habitats easily in here since there, there's nothing really blocking it you don't have to sell monsters you don't have to sell habitats you don't have to do anything really you know what I mean? you just move them. anyways uh what i would do you know this you can keep fire monsters here you can keep water or magic here maybe nature element here would be nice and then you can just proprietary this, this part for either earth or something else uh or you can keep your earth monsters here but um anyways so i mean you do have the islands available might as well use them you know what i mean your fire monsters are there but what i would do if i were you though um i see that you don't have enough monsters is the is the issue as well like you don't have a lot of, of mythics is what i'm trying to say you have monsters but you don't have a lot of mythics you see 298 out of 1195 so that kind of gives me an idea that you don't have too many mythics if i were to take a look at your monster gram and i do own mythic let me see how many mythics you have yep that's not enough i see i see why okay so you don't have enough mythics and that's completely okay uh but at least you are kind of ahead of the game ahead of everybody where you kind of like remove all the obstacles you cleared everything for those islands so that for future you can easily just you know uh place monsters there easily you know what i mean but what i would do if i were you if you have a lot of gold saved up right now i'm talking like 500 600 million whatever it is you can actually purchase mythic habitats and place them in here in every single one of these islands make sure you don't you're not wasting any space and place as many as you can you know what i mean do one two three four four islands place all mythic habitats in here and if you have even more and more gold and more time to spare what i would do is actually max those habitats out out to uh, level four it's going to be costly but here's the thing you're going to be set so right now you might think that you're actually good you know having the uh spaces everything is clear for you not really because you're still going to have to you know place habitats and upgrade those habitats as well so i would do it right now if you if, i mean you have time might as well do it right now so you can keep it the way it is right now but uh, i would i would actually use the main island full of um and just make it full of like mythic so you know split it into two three or four divided to however many you want this is good i'm glad you've been all your uh, food farms together but overall not bad ladies and gentlemen i wanted to do more uh, account reviews but if you actually take a look at this video which is actually a recent one i've been just looking through all these comments and going through them and basically uh typing out every single one of the team names and basically 90 percent of them that uh the ones i already reviewed yeah but then the other half basically they're not even showing up they're not the teams are showing up but the players not showing up in the team uh they most likely like left the team unfortunately um i couldn't actually get to those accounts but you know what use this comment section uh and let me know your profile name and also your team name so i can go ahead and view it in a future episode anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up for today's monster video hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe anyways i'll see you guys next one peace out